I have this nice little landscape exercise. We're going to start with the mountains. Um, in watercolor, it's good to practice layering. And so instead of going through the colors that I mixed, I wrote them down. But I'm doing um, kind of an ombre where I start to dart from dark to light. And I let that first layer with the mountains um, in the distance get uh, medium dry. And then I'm painting my tree line in front. I do want that to be really soft, but I don't want it to be wet and wet. And so as I paint this field, um, I am doing wet on wet with this limish green, and I'm going to take in some darker greens while it's still really wet so that they bleed softly, um, giving the idea that there's a tree line in the back and some scrub, um, just that it's this nice nature filled, um, adding some warm greens, browns into the darker greens, and just layering back and forth. You'll notice I'm not painting like straight lines, but dabbing. Um, as I let that dry a little bit, I'm going to add this nice silhouette of mountains that are a little bit closer, adding um, more of a cooler purple instead of the warmer. And, it, and the tones are a little bit darker, so they feel closer to us. Um, you know, the lighter the color, it gives a haze of distance. And then I, let, I did let that dry a little bit, and I'm going to go in and add some more details of darker like scrub and grass, adding some more greens and browns to darken those colors up of existing colors that I've already mixed um, so that I can layer. And I'm just using a really fine paintbrush um, for these details and speckles here and there. Um, once I'm done with that, I do let it fully dry before I mess around, um, especially the mountains. With the sky, I just give this light bluish gray that fades out against the mountain line, fully dry. And then I like to ink sometimes, so I threw in some ink with this one.